Hello and welcome to another video from SMS Projects. I'm Stu Stones and in this video I continue my Unraid journey and install a fresh copy of Windows 10 as a virtual machine. In my last video I did a bench build of the hardware, downloaded Unraid Server 6 and did the initial configuration. This time I'm going to do a vanilla install of Windows 10, perform some OS tweaks and pass through a keyboard and mouse and easily pass through a physical GPU so I can run my VM on a real monitor just like a real PC. First off we need to download Windows 10. You can do this easily and legally from the Microsoft website. Open a web browser and go to this website. The link will be in the video description or you can simply Google download Windows 10. If you're on a Mac or a PC running a different version of Windows, the page might look different, but what I'm looking for here is the Download Tool Now link. Once the tool is downloaded, run it, and you'll see it has to get a few things ready. Who knows what they are, but it has to do it anyway. Read and accept the license agreement, and click on Create Installation Media for another PC, and click Next. By default it will guess what version of Windows 10 you want to download, but if you want to change these options, Untick the box, choose your options and click next. Select ISO file and click next. When the save as box appears, you can either download the ISO locally or you can be clever. If you set up an ISO share on your Unraid server, you can download it straight there. Type backslash backslash your Unraid server name, by default it's tower unless you've changed it. Double click the ISO share, give your ISO image a name and click save. The ISO file will now download direct from Microsoft to your Unraid server. Cool, eh? You may have noticed I've called my ISO Win10-1607. This is because the download now includes the 2016 anniversary update, which is build 1607. Once the download is finished, open the Unraid web GUI in your browser, click on Settings and click on VM Manager. Just in case you've not done this yet, here are the settings required to enable virtual machines. First, select Advanced View in the top right and make sure Enable VMs is set to Yes. Under the default VM storage path, change this to the share you created for virtual machines. Or if you're using the default settings in the newly released 6.2, Domains. Do the same with the default ISO storage path. The drivers Windows needs for network cards and emulated devices are called Windows Vert IO. Before 6.2 you had to download them manually but now simply click the latest version from the list and click download. You'll need these later. Select the default network bridge which is created, BR0 unless you've changed it, and make sure ACS override is set to no. If you set this to yes, it means you're more advanced than this tutorial. I might cover that in a future video. Click apply and done. Click VMs on the toolbar and you'll see Unmade includes templates for a variety of virtual machines. If you really want to install Windows XP or Server 2003 you can, but today I'm selecting Windows 10. Select Auto Start if you want the VM to start whenever your Unraid server boots, which might be useful. Give your VM a name and a description if you wish. Leave the CPU mode pass through for best performance, and give the VM a number of cores to play with. If your CPU has hyperthreading, CPU 0 and CPU 1 are on the same core, 2 and 3 on the next core, and so on. I'm giving this VM 4 virtual cores, so I'll tick 0, 1, 2 and 3. Set your memory to something appropriate, I'm going with 4 gig, don't alter max memory, just initial memory. Leave the VM set to i440 2.5, unless you have problems installing Windows and then turn it down to 2.4. Leave the BIOS and Hyper-V settings as they are, and click on the ISO list and select the Windows ISO you just downloaded. The Vert.io driver should already be pre-populated. Leave the V dislocation as is and set the size of your C drive to whatever you want your VM to have. I'm going to say 50 gig. Leave the graphics options as VNC and QXL for now. We'll change them later to use the actual hardware. Let's just get Windows installed first. Leave the other settings as is unless you really want to tinker and then click create. You'll be taken back to the VM screen. You'll see your VM is now in the list with a green play badge. This means it's running. Click the VM and click VNC Remote. You should get a screen asking you to press a key to boot from CD. But if you don't and you get this screen, simply click the Control Alt Delete button at the top right and press a key when prompted. 
select your country and language and click next and click install now click I don't have a product key you can type this later to activate Windows select the version of Windows 10 to install and click next if you want remote desktop or you want to join a domain later you'll need pro if you only have a license for home click home accept the license and click next click custom and you'll see there are no disks shown to install Windows click load driver and click browse browse to the Vertio CD then VIO store then W10 then either AMD 64 for 64-bit Windows or x86 for 32-bit Windows click OK you'll see the Red Hat SCSI driver selected click next and after a few seconds you'll see your drive appear in the list click next to install Windows this will take a little while so go grab a coffee a coke do something else after a while Windows will reload to the get going fast screen I prefer to get going a little slower and enable some privacy settings so I'm going to click customize and set all the options to off after just a moment it will ask you who's going to use the PC so enter a username and enter a password I do recommend you enter a password not just for security but if you plan on using remote desktop you will need a password later you have to enter something for a password hint so either a real hint or just something random and click next I'm going to click not now for Katana but if you want to use it go ahead Windows 10 will talk to you for a while and when it's done you'll see the Windows 10 desktop Windows will load as many drivers as it can but there's a few we must do manually open device manager by right click and start and click device manager you'll see three devices which aren't recognized right click the Ethernet controller click update driver and click browse click browse again and select the Vertio CD click OK but make sure to leave include subfolders ticked and click next install the driver when prompted click yes if you're on a home or office network and click close and that's the network card done so let's do the same for the other devices close device manager when done next install the guest agent this allows the hypervisor running on Unraid to send commands to the virtual machine in a way that it understands open explorer go to this PC the Vertio CD and guest agent double click on the version for your operating system and simply run through the installation wizard there are a number of tweaks now which are recommended by LimeTech first is to disable power management settings as you really don't need power management in a virtual machine click start and type power click power and sleep settings and click additional settings click the arrow next to additional plans and click high performance next click on what the power button does and click change settings untick fast startup and save settings next disable hibernation great for laptops not so good for virtual machines there's no GUI way to do this so open an administrator command prompt by right clicking start and clicking command prompt admin type power cfg slash h off and press enter the next step is optional which is disabling the Windows index service which builds a cache of your files on your disk for easy search since this is a VM and if you have your VMs on solid state disks you might not need the index cache as it can also impact performance when it updates to disable it right click start click computer management services and applications and services double click Windows search stop and change the startup type to disabled click OK next disable automatic defrag again this is a VM with a virtual hard disk defragging within Windows isn't necessary open explorer click this PC right click C and click properties tools optimize and change settings untick the box and click OK click close and OK the final thing to do if you've got Windows Pro is to enable remote desktop so you can RDP into Windows remotely right click start click system and remote settings select allow remote connections and click OK 
Now the user you've created during installation will be allowed to RDP. We can test that by getting the name of the VM from the same system screen we were just on. Run remote desktop connection on your PC and enter the name of the VM. Click connect and enter the username and password you created during installation. If all works OK, you'll see the desktop you were just on, but with an RDP. The final thing I want to do is reboot the VM, just to make sure it comes back up cleanly after all the changes made. So now we have a virtual machine with a virtual desktop. What would really make it cool is to plug in a real keyboard, mouse and monitor and use it like a physical PC. So shut down the VM and go back to Unraid. Ensure you have a keyboard and mouse plugged into the USB ports of your Unraid server and plug the monitor into a separate GPU installed during the build. Click the VM, click Edit and change the graphics card from VNC to your dedicated GPU. Select the keyboard and mouse and click Update. Make sure you have your monitor ready, keyboard and mouse to hand, and click the VM and click start. If all's gone well, stand back and be amazed when your VM comes upon a monitor with a keyboard and mouse. Today I've shown you how to download, install and pass through physical hardware to an Unraid VM running Windows 10. Next time I'll do the same with Sensor Server for those of you who want to try Linux. See you then.